Welcome everyone to my channel that is fast and easy maths which is dedicated to give you tips and tricks related to mathematics. So if you're new to my channel then please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell button besides it so that you get notified whenever I push up a new video. So students this question was actually posted to me by my friend Suzanne and uh, she actually reached out to me uh, through email and she gave me this question and she wanted this to be solved. Uh, so here is the solution for it. So the question says solve cube root of 8 plus 3 root 21 plus cube root of 8 minus 3 root 21. Okay. So if you think that you can give it a try then I would like all of you to pause this video. Go ahead and check it out if you can find the solution to it. Trust me the solution is really really simple. Okay. There are just the beginning steps which you need to know how to figure this particular sum. Okay. So now over here, I'm going to start solving. So we'll say that let x is equals to cube root of 8 plus 3 root 21 plus cube root of 8 minus 3 root 21. Now the thing is that these two terms are also looking quite big to actually solve further. So I'm just going to assign variables to that as well. So a is equals to cube root of 8 plus 3 root 21 and b is equals to cube root of 8 minus 3 root 21. Okay. So now I can say that therefore x is equals to a plus b. Okay. Now the major problem is that both of these terms are coming under a cube root and I don't like cube roots. Okay, so I'm just going to remove them by cubing both sides. When I do that, I get x cube is equals to a plus b the whole cube. Let's expand this. So I get a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b cube okay so this is where i am coming to now understand let's look over here what will be a cube minus b cube so a cube when i cube this particular term i'm just left with 8 plus 3 root 21 minus oh sorry we have plus b cube my bad a cube plus b cube so plus again cube of this particular term will be just 8 minus 3 root 21. So this and this gets cancelled. So I am just left with 16. Okay. Now over here I can just write let's write a cube plus b cube first together and I can take something common from this. So I can th say 3ab common and I'm just left with a plus b. Okay. So here if you look, I have a, b as a term. Okay. So when I actually multiply a into b, I am getting cube root of when I multiply. I'm just going to put them in a big cube root. Okay. So 8 plus 3 root 21 and 8 minus 3 root 21 okay so now this is actually nothing but a plus b and a minus b so this is cube root of 64 minus 3 into 21 okay so that comes out to be cube root of 64 minus 189 so that comes out to be cube root of minus 125 which is equals to minus 5 okay so over here please understand you can find the cube root of a negative number you cannot find when it comes to square root of a negative number that leads to complex numbers but if you have a negative number and you need to find a cube root of that that will get you a negative answer okay that's it there is nothing uh, you know as such nothing as complex or imaginary num numbers coming into picture when it comes to cube root 
okay students before going on if you like the way i'm explaining please go ahead and you know hit the like button because that gives me tremendous amount of encouragement in doing these kind of videos okay so now over here we can substitute all of these okay so i can write a cube plus b cube as 16 plus 3 into a b as nothing but minus 5 now over here we already know that a plus b was what x so i can write this as x and this is x cube okay so now if i put everything on this side i can say x cube plus 15 x minus 16 is equals to zero okay so now if you look at this this is a basically a cubic equation and if i want to find the values in a cubic equation the best way to solve that is using synthetic division in case you all don't know how to do that i'll put up a link of that video on top okay please go ahead and check that or check that video because that is very much important for anyone to know okay how to do synthetic division so now when i put the value for doing synthetic division what do we need to do is that we need to take values of x and substitute for whatever value of x this particular equation stands through we'll use that value of x okay so we have uh, let's say x let's take as x as 1 so 1 plus 15 that gets you 16 16 minus 16 is 0 so definitely one value of x can be taken and here i'll write the coefficient so the first coefficient is 1 then there is no x square term okay so that is very important you need to take that as 0 the next term coefficient is 15 the last coefficient is 16 so first is 1 then 1 into 1 is 0 so I get uh, 1 again. So 1 into 1 is 16, 15. 1 plus 15 is 16. 1 into 16 is 16. And then 16 minus 16 is 0. When you get this last term as 0 over here, only then you can assume that your entire synthetic division was correct. So now I can say my entire equation changes to, this cubic equation changes to x minus 1, x square minus plus x plus 16 is equals to 0 okay and if you look over here when you start solving or rather here i can directly say that x is equals to 1 is my one value but for this particular quadratic if i start solving x is equals to minus 1 plus minus root of 1 minus 4 into 16 that is minus 64 upon 2 so this value of x is coming out to be a 63i in complex number okay so yeah we are getting two value or rather three values but out of that the two values are complex so we can directly say that this particular value will be just one surprising right we never thought that the entire equation will now come out to be one but that's how this entire sum was solved okay so that's it from this video i will see you in the next one see ya